I wonder what they're going to go for. Pylos. And a ton. Okay. Wow. We talked about this earlier, Mirko. Doubling down with the Hylos and the Gatot. And now with the Nether Realm as well. It's a lot of tankiness. It's a whole meat wall with two lives and an Atan. But their physical damage is only going to come from the Nolan. So technically, if only Onik can kind of predict what kind of damage can come through to the main front lines, because there's no way that Annabelle is going to be trying to deal with uh, with the front liners, with the Edith, right? The shredding on the front line. There we go. Yep. Franco Beatrix combination. This is a pretty standard composition that we actually like see a lot. When you have Beatrix, you go Franco or Kaja. It was actually Evos that really likes to do this, but recently we have seen Keyboy play the Franco a whole lot more. So will it work? Will this be the composition that gives them playoffs? The Sky Kings, again, facing off against the White Tigers, who are still, doesn't matter how this game unfolds, out of playoffs. All right, man. I mean, looking at the drafts right here and some of the battle spells, we've got a bit of a sneak peek. The lineup rating kind of favors Evos, but man, at the same time, I don't know. It seems like they're already overloaded on sustainability. And with Fnatic Onik playing for burst instead of playing for DPS, I feel like they're susceptible to falling behind. It all depends on Keyboy on the Franco though, but if, you know, if we can judge his performance from the past couple of matches we've seen him on the Franco with, I feel like it's looking quite convincing. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen, into the land of Dawn we go. We saw the Franco in the screen earlier, and now we're going to see the Franco in the game. Three picks for Franco. For Mr. Keyboy. In the last mm -hmm. two matches yesterday against Bigatron Alpha twice. But I think when it comes to the sustain and the damage for Evos, if they are able to get Natan to a good spot, Evo should still be able to get this dub. I like their composition. It's just, like you mentioned, Fnatic Honic have a lot of ways to actually stop that from happening. I'll wait a bit longer. A Jodian Wilderness Blessing for Keyboy, but he might not even get the move here. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Keyboy will not spend his flicker. He knows that he can't escape, though. In the mid lane, it's gonna be Glocken pressured. Still able to juke a Kyrie out, though. Mm-hmm. Players might be required, but going to the turtle right now, no level force for a lot of the players from both teams, but Annabelle goes for it. it seems like the turtle will go to the hands of Evos Glory. No compensation yet from Fnatic on it. Who has flicker, so this is very possible, but Dreams is around. Oh, oh. Not the flicker. Iron Hunt as well. Oh. Dreams is there to Ooh. help and sustain. Revitalized Pop. CW wasn't able to get the clean kill. Yeah, it was cancelled. That's why with Dreams there, really out of options. But Fnatic Onyx, they're grouping up on the turtle. They want to go for a fight. Let's see here, they want to contest as well. Evos Glory. A little bit late, but they have a chance. Psychot stunned up, terrified. Voice pathway pops. Kyrie repositioning. Oh. Rest flickers out now with another round, trying to buy more time. But it's going to be them oh. coming through for Annabelle. He goes down alongside Rez. But Anagonic repositioned. Keyboy will not be able to survive. It's two for one for Evos. Onik can take their time. They want to wait and still kind of make a play around this neutral objective. But Kyrie has left. Mm -hmm. He's not going to try to contest. It's going to be Evos Glory finding the turtle, and Fnatic Onik will not be able to respond. Freebies for Evos Glory, 2,000 gold lead, but the turtle is the least of Fnatic Onik's worries. I think the biggest worry for them... Oh, Kyrie? No, he should be out. Yeah, he gets out, but the biggest threat to Fnatic Onik is Natan. He is 2-0, and oh, he's been free farming. No one has been able to pressure him. Precise with it. Like, really, really precise. The big advantage for Onik Onik right now is that they actually have the assassin advantage, but ooh, Psychots. That's gonna be Psychots pulled back with the hunt. Bit around turn by time. Good silence there. But that's gonna be Dreams targeted, taken down. Now to be Rez flickering out. But Kyrie looks for an angle. Does not find it just yet as the turtle will fall for the White Tigers. It's a perfect turtle again. Perfect turtle for Annabelle on the Nolan. Here for game number two. GW! Oh! oh! Henry's apathy almost finds the mark. It's the Holy Crystal. Have Evos officially just out, out uh, scaled Fnatic Onyx? Or do Fnatic Onyx still have that win condition with the Beatrix? I think it comes to the execution. That's Kodo doing a lot of damage right there. 
Jeez. But yes, if with no answer for the Nether Realm too, then they have to rely on Kyrie to try and make some kind of big plays happen. Flicker Bloody Hunt finds Annabelle with the help of Kyrie. He will fall. Lord is up. Evolves Glory. Info two members bottom side. What will they do? Press Flicker's out, but sounds oh. now caught in the no man's land. He falls. Very, very adaptive play from the White Tigers now moving on towards the mid lane. Good pull, but no hunt. Rez wasn't able to find the knockup. Evos Glory finds another. Oh, CW. Wait, oh. huh? Yeah, Flicker. Oh, Evos Glory. Overstay oh, there, welcome. Kyrie secures. Oh, Glockon. Natko very low. Oh. What? Natko finds the outplay though. CW shuts him down. Important kill for Calvin Winata. 1 2. Calvin Winata getting the shot down with the Renner basic attack, not the apathy. W man's CW. That's another Sky Piercer stack and a shutdown, but Annabelle's already on it. The taunt. Taunt now. Flickers out. Kyrie looks for Ooh. an angle. Retreat battle. It's oh! a row! It's Kyrie! Kyrie moves back, pulled back, but now it's gonna be fall. He's gonna fall. CW repositioning. Oh. Actually hits dreams. He wants glory. It's Raleigh. Very Raleigh. The hook does oh, not man. find the mark, and that will be all. Play. That was so good, man. Just dashing through, finding a way to get through, using the members of EVOS to hop through and get into range for the retribution, stealing it away. Look at this now, though. EVOS trying to defend, but now, if Fnatic Arnie can get a pickoff here, when EVOS are separated due to the macro pressure by the empowered ways from the Lord, this could be the moment they're waiting for. As we take a look at the damage dealt by Kidia, look at that, CW. Out damaging Clockon by 10,000. Whereas Natko, despite the fact that he's been free farming, hasn't really been finding the same kind of impact in these fights. I think it was just that last fight that he wasn't able to find the impact because the fight was scattered around. Yeah. Like that, under the turret, 1v1ing CW, but he wants to take that risk. The Bloodlings will keep him alive a bit longer, technically, but he still needs to be very careful. If you think about it, there isn't really a massive need for Natko to move on forward. He just has to keep in range with the front sliders. But oh, look at this. Oh, oh. every Sans now having time oh. to pop that Nether Realm, but he's practically one HP. They're coming. Now it's going to be reinforcements. Fanaticonic looking for an angle. Dreams is there to shut it out now. Boris Pathway pops, Rez now in the middle of it all. With a Bravo Ram flickering out, CW will be the main target. Evo, Glory finds a Rez. Keyboy might be next, but Sans Ooh. will die. Keyboy taken down. That's three members of Fnatic Onyx deleted. Well played, Evo's Glory. Our team fighting and getting out of a tough spot. Coming in from the main frontliners, just trying to tank some shots, trying to make sure that the right no way. people can do much with Kyrie. Not again, right? See, no angle. Good. The captain sniffs something is wrong in that in that bush. And CW and Kyrie. It's gonna fall in the hands of Res and Sans try and get something. But whoa! Not the hook. Not the hunt, though. Dreams half HP Lord oh, charging nice. the bottom side turret. Taken down now. Fanatic Onic repositioning. What? Oh, oh my, my goodness, that's a wise! That's gonna be two members of EVOS Glory! What? Down and now Fanatic Onic! What? Now look for Klocken. Is still able to get out, but not going out of a... Might actually find a pick off cheeky one. They're inside of the bush. But see Lancelot and Valentina Sans is going. Can they sniff this one out though? Oh, still <laughs> Klocken. Get the oh. better of Keyboy this time. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay, no, CW doesn't walk there. Okay, they recall. Right. What, what was that? They almost went in. Dominantly looking for ways to get to the back line to try and be a real threat to Natko. Uh oh. Raz now jumped on. Just by dreams though. Even at Agonic, they know now most of oh. the members, Evo's Glory is in the area of that river. Dreams now. Pops to refinalize. Oh, oh, no. oh my goodness, that's a purifying. Thankfully for Glock and Keyboy, Hawkeye moment. It's gonna be Evo's Glory now, repositioning and just taking it slow. Okay, that was close, man. I thought Glock was dead for a second. I think CW saw blood in that hook as well. Yep. Because he popped into Bennett's Rage instantly. He trusted Keyboy with his life on that one. But look at the damage output and the pole coming in from Fnatic Onyx. They're so good at this. Just not committing, but now Dreams goes for it. Oh, Pathway. 
Now it's gonna be Rez. Good Terrify, Anival doesn't find the kill, Netherrealm to save his life. Dream's quite low. Netherrealm from the side of Evos, Glory pops as well. Both teams now still oh, standing 5v5. Dream's very low, no mortality, so that's in point. Yo, that was well played from both these teams, Evos and Fnatic Onic, but honestly, more impressed by Fnatic Onic with this composition. They gotta have perfect execution, and so far, they've done it. Evos have made a few mishaps, and that has given Fnatic Onic even more room. You make a, an inch of a mistake, they take a mile. See, they're blitzing the Lord. Oh, they man. will find wow. it. Scores pathway, though. They are going to force a fight. Rez has immortality. Oh. We'll lose it. Revitalized. Two by time. Good terrified by Tychons. Will not be able to find a mark. Rez sacrifice. Fnatic Onic with four now. Remember, they have the Lord. Will they breathe the purple out? Seems like Evos Glory. They say no. Okay. Everybody calm down. Even if it's late by a bit. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, Dreams being suppressed, oh. has the mortality in the realm now, already triggered. That's good sign, but Fnatic Fnatic Onic, they will find Cyclops now, who will lose oh. his immortality. Fnatic Onic still oh. looking to lock him down. They didn't get the horse, but they got the Gata Gacha. It's the same trade from before, but it's the opposite. It's Fnatic Onic with a kill on the XP, but the Lord was cleared out by Evo. So, in the end, Lord advantage, win or lose? Space her down below. They have so good. Like their clear is actually really, really good. That's a winner crown for Sans. E boy. Is it now? Oh, for it's oh, way. For it's pathway. We'll try to find oh. the jump. Now it's gonna be another round. Psychos Avatar does not land on towards anybody. That's a top though. Sans taken down. Now it's gonna be the winner crown to buy time. Fnatic oh, only fights with four. Evos Glory Ooh. will not move. Onwards, they will back away instead. Oh no, Sans way too overextended. CW and Fnatic Onic, this is a 4v5 Dreams. No old Rez, it's a stun. That's the damage coming through with the fracture, but Rez is still up. Now it's gonna be the main base turret. Their main agenda and will be taken down. So two base turrets actually are down and out now. Up for the next fight, and technically Kyrie has just cleared the bottom side. So again, if they can get a pick off, that's where it begins. CW still has all the stacks. Yeah, they're fighting against the odds though, because again, bottom lane slow pushing res. Doors halfway, perfectly timed. Psychops does not find anyone, but Rankow with entropy trying to find and Whoa. lead res, who wow. is very alone. Doors halfway, Vice Sans actually finds four. Good terrifying keyboard with the conceal doesn't find anybody. Annabelle Three. one v one anime. Style with Kyrie, but they back away. Now it's gonna be the taunt coming through towards Sam's good flicker. Oh. Perfectly timed as well. 5v5 in the land of dawn. This is Mobile Legends. This is truly Mobile Legends. Both teams fighting it out. Evo's glory in the late game with the Natan, but it's a spa. CW, Sky Pierce Abuser. Let's see. It's gonna be Fnatic Onic now trying to reclaim better positioning with the Lord leaning to their side. But he's halfway popped. Rez has a more time with Sans now oh. in an awkward position. Cycles in the flanks. Another round popped already. Fnatic Onic. They are still hovering around both teams, not competing on towards the Lord, but Evo's glory. They see a window, they saw a window. It seems like they will have taken the Lord. It's all because the wave, Evo's played the waiting game. They played it patient, man. They know that wave is coming. It's only a matter of time. Fnatic Onic, they can risk it, go for the immediate fight and see if they win it and then defend. But worst case scenario, they lose it all. Four readily available for Evos, but look at this. They try to clear the Lord a bit earlier before Evos can just run through, ignore them, and get the base. Not all spells are active. Lord's halfway pops. Oh, Lord oh. taken care of almost. That's the Avatar pops. Now that's a good Tawny Keyboy. We'll lose his mortality. Never around pops as well. It's gonna be Fnatic Onic trying desperately to defend with CW. Oh. Oh. It survives very low. Bought the mortality. And now Fnatic Onic still fights with five! Keyboy finds the hook. Psychos, no immortality, and he will lose his life. Fnatic Onic, they have defended their base. Just like they did against Echo and MSC. They do it again, and it's CW who is shining together with the rest of the team. Bought the Golden Sap before the fight, knows that he needs to get more of those basic attacks out to clear the Lord, and he did. He bought the Immortality last second, too. And now, this is a window for Fnatic Onic to perhaps end the game. Psychon is down, he is the stronger frontliner. Fnatic Onic, they leave Cairo in the bottom and go for a base turret. Still able to defend this time with the Glorious Pathway. Ooh. He lost Glory. Composed. 
with War Man just then standing. But now, this will buy time for Fnatic on it. Because that magic damage is very, very scary. Not cool. There, res gets mm. out. But really, for Evos, I think they lack the composure a bit for the end game moments, right? Psychots and Dreams were way too far ahead of everyone. And that gave Fnatic on it just the just right amount of space to get CW to free hit. They need to go in together with the Nether Realm, without the Nether Realm. As long as they go in together first, then it'll come through. Oh, oh, almost. Fnatic on it now. Taking their time, he lost Glory as well, who is semi committing the Lord. Glory's pathway, though committed by Dreams. Immortality is on him. He isn't afraid to die. That's a good Terrify, though, to break the tempo. Now Rez loses Immortality. Good Nether Realm, but he will fall regardless. Oh! No! No! Falls! Calvin Winata finds the mark, and that's just Fnatic on it with the collapse. Wow. One by one, they fall as Lachlan running for the hills, but Kyrie locked in, waiting for the right timing as in the mid lane. Annabelle is trying to buy time, clearing the wave in that mid, but Keyboy is on his, yeah, on his back as well. Glory is still up as Evo's Glory trying to buy time and Lachlan, don't do this at home. Lachlan is trying to respawn in time. Four seconds for Lachlan. Annabelle can't recall. Now he's in the base. Can they defend? But Sane oh. trying to clear that card. And it seems like the timing is perfect for Evo's glory. So far, so good for Evo's. There's another wave in the mid lane, though. And Annabelle's going to try to cut it. Look at Annabelle. Look at Annabelle. He might actually delay this. Let's say, let's see. Fnatic Onyx will move on towards that wow. wave as Annabelle is able again to buy time. Though one card is alive. 10 wow. seconds on that go, and that's Fnatic Onyx deciding to go for the Lord. Good move by Annabelle to delay the game a bit longer. They're gonna have Natko, so even then, it still is a possible defense for them. It's a big Lord though, 26 minutes in. Remember, after the changes to the Lord, now it scales like crazy towards the later game. After every minute, it gets like a crazy amount of HP, and now we're already 26, so it's been a while since 18. And for Fnatic Onyx, this is their window to actually close out the game. They just have to do what they did again to Natko. Possible. Are they going to try and go for a decisive play here? It just almost feels like they have to. Two Natko. ways. Practically crashing. Lord, though, will crash in that mid. Yvonne's glory. Oh, oh, that's a big knockup! That's a stun res repositions with the Bravo Red, but now, winner crown pops. Now, Dream's trying to engage. Psychos as well. Whoa. Now, with the Fnatic Onyx. Moving onwards, Evo's Glory, they're able to clear the Lord, now looking for the wave! And that's the surf press, and that's the race! Fnatic Onyx, cleaning house! Everybody was focused on the fight, but Calvin Winata focused on the win. Straight up to the base with the Rockets of Bennett. Ends the game so that there can be no more fights, no more of those cheeky little plays from Annabelle to save them from the loss. GG, well played. Fnatic on it, congratulations. Welcome to the season 14 playoffs.